Hi all, it's uh, been a while since I posted anything. Um, I've been busy, uh, bought a house with my wife, um, and we've been working on um, decorating it, ripping the old carpet up and putting flooring down and um, sorting each of the rooms out. Um, we're pretty much down to the kitchen and bathroom now, the two biggest jobs. Um, I've also been working on my uh, Open University uh, last year's module. I've literally just today started this year's module. Um, my final one, thankfully. But um, I thought I'd do a quick um, short videos, um, which I'll probably post erratically um, due to other commitments, um, about a game called Into the Woods, which is uh, by GMT Games. Uh, it's based on the Battle of Shiloh, uh, also known as the Pittsburgh Landings. Um, it's a hex encounter war game, which I've never tried, but I really want to get into that style of war gaming and shift away from miniature war gaming because I just don't have time to glue things together, paint them, uh, and then take them down to uh, our local gaming store to play. Um, so I wanted to find um, a different way of doing war gaming, uh, preferably solo, and um, the Great Battles of the American Civil War rule set seems pretty good for that. It's also very complicated. So these series of videos would be me going through each um, step of the sequence of play and describing how I interpret it. And hopefully uh, you guys out there who know the rule set far, far better than me will be able to chip in and tell me if I've interpreted it correctly or if I'm really messing it up. So here we are doing um, scenario two, which is done on one of the smaller maps. I've um, set up following the instructions. The only part of the instructions uh, which I'm not doing is putting a um, an event token into um, the AM pool, which I'll explain in a second. I just wanted to learn to play the game before um, complicating matters with um, events as well. So, I've, as I say, I've set the map up. It says here that the Confederates get a plus one initiative uh, for the AM turn. And that I've set up all the counters in to the various starting hexes. So I rolled the dice, and even with one, uh, the grey dice, the Confederates would have got four, and the Union got six. So the Union's got um, first turn. That's based on the initiative segment. Um, then you determine chain of command, and as far as I can tell, uh, everyone is within chain of command. Um, then you pull efficiency markers for each um, division leader on in the battle. So for the Confederates, there's two, Braggs and Hardy, and for the Union, it's one, which is um, Pentrist. Pen I think I've pronounced that correctly. So I've already pulled the tokens out for them. And the, uh, the Union got a two, and the Confederates both got three. Um, then as division orders, um, they start with orders, and I've not changed any. I'm not sure if we can in the first turn, or we have to go with what they've got. So a lot of the uh, Confederates are on attack. Uh, apart from these guys coming in down here, um, under Withers, which is on an advance order, and then the Union are all on advance. Um, I've also extended some of the Unions at the start. Um, it didn't appear to say that I couldn't do that, so that's what I've done. Um, then there's a reinforcement, which I don't think is applicable as far as I can tell. Reserve placement, which isn't applicable. And then engineering, which I don't think is applic applicable. So we then go into the activation segment and the uh, initiative activation choice. So the player of initiative gets to pick one of his AMs to start with straight away. So I've placed that there already for Pinterest to go first and then the rest are in the pot to blindly pick so each 
each of the Union, uh, each of the Confederates have three. Uh, they're stacked on top of each other there, but there are three. Uh, and then the last remaining one for the Union. And then we get to activation. So I think I've done that all correctly. Um, if any of you guys can say if I've missed anything out or I can't, I can't start them extended or anything, then that would be a great help. And then in the next video, I'll start going through my interpretation of the activation of each regiment. Um, I'm assuming uh, because. Uh, the union, every unit on that table comes under him because I've a uh, union unit comes under him, um, and because I've pulled his token, that means that all of these units uh, can activate. Um, this guy starts destructed and is apparently linked to Miller, I think it said, um, and we'll have to roll to see if they can organise themselves. Um, if they fail it, then I think the rules said they immediately flee the um, the battle back to Pittsburgh Landing. And I think also said they didn't start with any animation, animation or anything, so um, I have to look to see if they can get that back. So yeah, that's, um, that's the order, uh, initiative segment and order segment, so hopefully I've understood that correctly.